Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for MTE tutorial Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the threat analytics. Uh, we'll try to understand how the threat analytics work in the Microsoft Defender for Endpoints. So, let's uh, start this video. So, I have logged in into uh, Microsoft 365 Defender console and let's uh, go to the threat analytics. So just click here to the threat analytics. So here you can see in the dashboard uh, that shows the ransomware, how many ransomware, uh, the phishing vulnerability count and uh, the actively groups details. So here is a, another chart about uh, the uh, latest threats, what are the latest threats are there uh, in the market and how it impacted to your infra. So it's not impacted to my infra the dark site ransomware cve exploit attack uh the mail spare that is a high impacted threads and other uh, height exposure threads so if you need any more details you can just click here on the dark site exposure so once you click here you will get the more detail about this thread so once you click here it will open that overview for this dark site ransomware and here is the explanation about this dark site so dark site is a ransomware payload distributed through the ransomware uh, as a service a ras uh, affiliate program so this is the description about uh, this dark site ransomware the four alerts are active currently so if you want to view the alerts you can click here or you can directly go to the this part uh, in the alerts and the incidents so from here you can get the alerts detail about this dark side and somewhere and here is the alert over time uh, this is the chart you can view it and the most important thing is the two devices are impacted in our infra so if we see uh, how many devices are impacted you can go here and check out the two devices till now are impacted in the entire infra if you would look at, if you want to see the devices you can click here and can see when it was uh, impacted on uh, the one devices was impacted on 27 28 31 or till the 3 march but on the 4th march is the one more devices was impacted and it's not resolved so it's active and it's not resolved yet zero so and here is the device name which is a laptop and uh, the desktop so i have two devices imported uh rated alerts three by six and y11 and when the last activity happened it was uh, sorry the first activity happened on the 8th june jan and on this device it's happened on the 4th fab and the last activities happen on the 19th fab and the 4th fab if you want to see the more details you can just click here and it will give you the more explanation about this impact so let's open it so here is the com uh, complete detail about uh, your uh, like a ad join and uh, yeah domain is a ad join os is this the same name and you can get the basic information about uh, your the threat and here is uh, what is that is the alert name is testing testing uh it's a the python key longer antivirus detection rule so how it was detected so we have totally 18 active alerts and the seven incidents related to this impact so if you would like to go to uh to the devices or want to see the alerts you can go for here in the alerts and uh, then you can uh, resolve it so what are the other information we can see in it here so this is like a uh, the action status it's a the 57 percent only so once we take any, any action to resolve this incident or take any other in, uh, action for this alerts or incidents then it, this part will increase now let's go to here on the analytics report so this will give you the more deeper look about this dark side ransomware so here is the more explanation the analytics this all these information provided by the microsoft the what is the mitigations for this rdp or the virtual desktop 
uh, without MFA, the VPN system, Microsoft SharePoint, and the Exchange servers. So it is a big explanation about this three. Uh, and uh, here is a KQL query: how you can find out uh, this dark uh, ransomware with the advanced hunting query. So this query you can use in your advanced hunting portal and can get the details what are the devices are impacted so let's go to the related incidents if we have any related incidents in our uh, defender console so we can get it details over here so here is the incidents name testing on the one endpoint so if you click here then it will give you the details so here is under the testing we have the uh, the testing and it will uh, route to the another piece like it will go to the alerts so this will route it to the alert piece and uh, here you can see uh, the device name the username and uh, or, or what is the assets impacted and this is the complete details uh, which all are the files were impacted uh, with this uh, dark side ransomware in the stack show so if i talk about the one uh, this um, one drive so it will give the more details once you click here so where it impacted what is the file path with the devices uh it, it will give you the complete details about this what are the files are impacted with this dark side ransomware so let's uh, move it to back over here for this alert and uh, incidents, I create a separate video how you can resolve your incident and alert when you are working or uh, how you can suppress that. So you can go back to my the YouTube channel in the uh, MDE tutorial where you can find out uh, the details about incidents and alerts. So let me back to the threat analytics to explain the something more. So I was here in the uh, related incidents which was routed to the incidents column here and let's see the impacted assets how many assets were impacted till now for this dark side and ransomware so here are the two devices were impacted this and this uh, already I showed you so now this is a endpoint explosive the explosive level is a 20 and it will be fetching the vulnerability the patching status so here is nothing for this related to the mitigation now the final stage of the recommended action if you, uh, so a defender for endpoint will give you the recommendation uh, to save your infra so here is a uh, few things is already completed like turn on the real-time protection turn on the defender firewall turn on the temper protection enable the antivirus uh, the defender antivirus real-time behavior monitoring but here the few things already left which uh, we can complete it so the rank is six or uh, the block the uh, editing or um, uh, orienting from the pixie and the wmi so let's select it and just click here so you will get the details okay so now here is a go to the manage micro uh, manage in the microsoft defender uh you can go to the rules and uh, then you can manage it or you can improve your uh the security so here is like a implementation the prerequisite next step you have to go under the, the vulnerability management under the recommendation from the recommendation you can fix uh, this part so if I go here then it will route me for the security recommendation from where uh, we can fix our this uh, um, this we can improve our the score actually okay so now this window has opened and uh, you can see in it's like a remediation option remediation request so uh, you can go with this the op uh, option for the safe devices or the request for this uh, remediation so now here is the option you can review the remediation and uh, the um, uh, ensure this microsoft defender is a turn on real time protection is enabled enable the asr rule and block this part so once you have done this let's go to the next and the remediation request so that will fix it automatically if we use this method so now open a ticket with the microsoft so no need to do that the remediation date let's select it's the 26 
and the purity is a medium and you can put it the note here and let's go for the next and uh, export all these data if you want it and now you can fix it so now this remediation acti uh, activity is created and uh, on tomorrow automatically this remediation task will run on that machine and it will uh, fix your uh, uh, this uh, not the vulnerability it's uh, it's kind of a prerequisite i can say uh, then it will improve your um, score so guys once you have done it then go back to your uh, your part again and uh, it's mentioned uh, it will update here let me refresh this console and we'll see it how it will reflect here so now here it's uh, still it's showing to address but uh, we have scheduled a task once this task is ran on the devices then it will show as a completed here like it will show as a green status and the similar way you can take a action for the uh, other like use the advanced potential against the ransomware or enable the network protection so uh, to enabling the network protection i will be creating a separate video how you can enable the network protection so one by one based on your the recommendation you can work out and you can fix it so in that cases you can save your infra for any of this attack like the dark side ransomware so guys in this video uh that's all and uh let's see you in my the coming video in a uh, secure score so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video for secure score